Hello there and welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to create this um, example. Something like Metal Gear. Where if I get far enough uh, from the bad guy, he doesn't see me. Look, I'm just way too fast for this guy. Whoa, look at this. Trying too fast. Oh, son of a gun, he got me. All right, so let's open the example file. You can find this under the description below. Uh, if you find this file under the Spark Store, uh, don't be afraid of the Spark Store. Everything is free, except for commercial material. All right. And um, yeah, let's have a look at what we have here. Here's our sensor. Um, here is the invader. Here is the soldier. Uh, this is a background. A red block so the uh, soldier and the uh, invader cannot get to these areas we have two counters one is named health and uh, the other one is uh oh the ghetto oh wet all right let's fix that get away timer all right and here is our plasma pellet okay all right so let's um get started all right, so let's uh, get started. Um, I'm going to move the background out of the way so we can uh, see what we're doing. I'm going to double click on the sensor, which is just a, a static object. And you can see that this has uh, 32 directions. Okay. I'm going to double click on the invader. And um, yeah, this um, object here is a uh, bouncing ball. Okay, so if you're on the frame, you notice that it um, randomly selects a, a direction where to go. Let's go to the event editor, and uh, if the um, if the invader leaves the play area, we are going to make him bounce. Let's uh, try it out. You can see that that works uh, not too bad. Notice that we can move our soldier already because our soldier is a um, a direction object. Okay, let's attach the sensor to the um, invader. Let's return to the uh, event editor, and uh, we're gonna set up an always. Uh, let's um, select the direction of the sensor and we're going to set it equals the uh, current direction value of the invader straight out oh we can't see it we need to uh, make it visible visible at start and you can see that that kind of works already all right Let's uh, position the um, the sensor relative to invader three. You can see that uh, now he carries the cone in front of him all the time. All right. Now this green cone now represents uh, what the invader can see. Okay. And um, yeah, let's go to the event editor. And uh, if our character is overlapping uh, the cone, or the other way around, we want our bad guy to look in the direction of um, the good guy. Okay. Straight out. You can see that uh, now you can't escape the... Uh, the bad guy because he sees you you can't run no let's make the invader shoot uh, plasma rounds at the soldier all right let's go to the uh, event editor let's clone line three and let's do an insert every uh, 20 milliseconds I'm going to delete that there and uh, instead of that, I am going to set it to shoot an object, the plasma round, in direction of the soldier. All right. And that just makes sense. Let's uh, run this. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's shooting at me now. 
Son of a gun! Okay, so but we want him to stop when he shoots, so let's uh, make him stop. Somebody make him stop! Okay, you can see that um, he stops to shoot, and if I get out of the, his firing range, he stops shooting. Okay, but what we want is that um, is that whenever he's um, uh, launching animation is uh, finished, we want him to start again. going to try to get out of the um, fighting range if I can and I did that time and you can see that sometimes he um, he still gets stuck all right I'm over here now he can't see you now so um, let's um, negate this uh, condition and uh, if the soldier is not overlapping the um, the sensor, we also want him to start. Let's try it out. You can see that. Uh... Whoa! I lost my object. I went out too far. Let's try it out again. And if I get out, oh, he's still following me. He's very persistent. All right, I, I got out of the uh, fighting range that time. And he can't see me on this side. But uh, if you wanted if you wanted him to be smarter, you could um, increase the uh, size of the cone. All right. Right now he can't see you on these sides. Let's bring back the um, the background. Okay, went to um, lock it, and uh, here's my health, which I can probably make into a um, a health bar, horizontal, uh, from left to right, and I'm gonna make this uh, red because it's a health bar. And I'm gonna place this somewhere where he doesn't. Uh, he's not gonna walk over. Okay. At the uh, start of the frame, we want to set the um, counter equals. Um, let's set it to three. Okay. And uh, if this counter is reaches uh, zero, we want to destroy. It. The soldier. Okay. Um, let's decrease the counter if uh, if we get hit by one of the uh, plasma rounds. Subtract one from counter. Straight out. You can see that that works fine. Um, we also want to destroy the uh, the plasma round. That works not too bad. Let's add a sound to this. I'm over here. All right, so let's add music. If we get spotted, let's use our um, getaway counter. And uh, on the line 5, uh, if this is not overlapping the soldier, we want to add 1 to the counter. Alright, uh, you can see that the counter is going up. But if I get in front of the um, invader, the counter stops. Okay. Now let's uh, create a new condition. If the uh, sensor is overlapping the soldier, 
let's run this event only once when it loops let's play a um, a sample let's play a loop sample and uh, we are going to play this uh, uh, we're gonna loop it actually and uh, this action is only going to work if um, if the music isn't already playing all right let's try it out Let me try that again. Okay, so you see, you can see that the music continues even though the um, the soldier is not in the spotlight anymore. Okay, so if we are um, if our counter reaches a, uh, let's say 100 for this example, okay, uh, 100 or greater, then we can stop the music. Now you could fade the music uh, if you wanted to, but for the uh, sake of this example, we are simply going to stop it. And uh, we're going to set the uh, counter back to zero. Straight out. I think I lost my character. Let me... Uh, fix that now I'm going to turn it off uh, destroy object if it's too far away from the uh, play field so that way I can go farther away come on get away get away whoa this alien guy is very persistent Okay, you can see that um, I got away that time. Okay. And the uh, counter keeps looping. Son of a gun, he got me. Okay, so let's clean our scene a little bit. Going to move this counter out of the way. Let's make this invisible at start. And you notice that we have a um, an object here to stop our invader from going, from walking into this building. Let's fix that. If the invader collides with the uh, wall, we make him bounce. All right, straight out. We can walk over there, but he can't. Actually, we could even. Um, Make this sh smaller. And um, we could make the... Um, you make a collision between the plasma and these uh, red blocks. We can destroy the plasma. And we can even play a sound. that works okay whoa he almost got me I'm trying to um, walk in front of the wall so so he can shoot the wall well 
Whenever he shoots, uh, I notice that he doesn't uh, make a sound. Let's uh, fix that. Let's play this um, <coughs> laser sound. And that's much better. Whoa, 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 whoa. This would be a really hard game, especially if you had two of those. And the music stops. Now I lost my character. There is my character again. Whoa, whoa. Okay, try a snake bite the guy again. Sparkman and I'd like to interrupt this tutorial to uh, show you my Twitter account okay in my Twitter account you can find amazing pictures uh, such as this one um, also to show you my new um, spark store where everything really is free except for commercial material all right uh, my Twitter account is um, Sparkman X, okay. Like, oh, never mind. It's a Sparkman X. No, no. Okay, okay. For the last time, I did not order a giant box of anime. All right. Oh, hang on one second. Um. Y yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh. See you next time. <laughs> uh. Can Can you read the titles? <laughs>